Hi friends, welcome back to Panda Class with Mr. B. Today's story is the famous Peppa Pig goes apple picking. Oh, hi Peppa. Peppa Pig. Peppa 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 Pig. This story was written 2017. It is a lovely sunny morning. Mommy and Daddy Pig have a surprise for Peppa and George. Today is a perfect day for apple picking, says Daddy Pig. Well, use the apples to make a pie for Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig, says Mommy Pig. Hooray, Peppa and George cheer. They love apples and they especially love pie. Mr. B likes pie, too. Peppa and her family arrive at the orchard, but the apples are very high up in the trees. How will we reach them? asks Peppa. Ho, ho, says Daddy Pig. I have a trick for picking those apples. Hmm, friends, what's that trick? What do you think he's going to do? You might be right. On the count of three, shake the tree, says Daddy Pig. Peppa and her family hold on to the tree trunk. One, two, three. They shout, shake, shake, shake. Is that going to work, friends? Hmm, let's find out. <gasps> the apples come falling down. Soon, Peppa and George's baskets are full. Hooray! Cheer, Peppa and George. Daddy Pig, your trick worked. I am a bit of an expert at apple picking, says Daddy Pig. Do we have enough apples now for Granny and Grandpa's special pie, asked Peppa. Almost, says Daddy Pig. We just need a few more from the trees at the very top of the hill. Those apples are the juiciest. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? asked Mommy. I think we have plenty of apples now. But Daddy Pig is sure he leads them up the hill. Peppa and her family shake the tree, but the apples don't fall off. Hmm, says Daddy Pig. Maybe if we shake it a bit harder. Shake, shake, shake. Apples still don't fall off. What do we do now? asked Peppa. Hmm. There's only one way to reach those apples, says Daddy Pig, and that's to climb. Do be careful, Daddy Pig, says Mommy Pig. Daddy Pig climbs to the very top of the tree. He climbs out onto the farthest branch to get the juiciest look King Apple. <laughs> He's upside down, friends. You're right. Daddy Pig almost reaches the apples when whoop! The branch bends and Daddy Pig falls. Sploosh! Oh, Daddy. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has fallen into a big muddy puddle and splashed everyone with mud. Are you okay, Daddy Pig? asked Peppa. Yes, shouts Daddy Pig, and I reached the juiciest apple. Back at home, Mommy Pig takes all the apples to the kitchen. It's time to make the pie, she says. Oh, goody, says Peppa. Mmm, says George. First, Mommy Pig makes the pie crust. Then they make the apple pie filling. Peppa and George help with the stirring. They use sugar, eggs, cinnamon, and the most important ingredients of all, hmm, the apples, shouts Peppa and George.
Soon the apple pie is fresh out of the oven. Mmm, says Daddy Pig. It smells yummy. Can we eat it? Not yet, says Mommy Pig. We have to bring it to Granny and Grandpa's first. Papa and her family drive to Granny and Grandpa's pig house. Hello, my little one, says Granny Pig. What's all this? Surprise, cries Peppa. We made you an apple pie. It's delicious, says Granny. How did you make it so yummy? Daddy picked the apples from the very top of the tree, says Peppa, and got all of us all muddy. But it was worth it, snorts Daddy Pig. He he he. What a fun day of apple picking it has been. Oh, Peppa goes apple picking. That was a cute one, friends. I'm so glad you could stop by here at Panda Class with Mr. B. Okay, friends, it's that time again. It's that time to raise our left hands in the air. Are you ready in the count of three? One, two, three. Pinch pot, pinch pot, cheese, cheese, cheese. Pinch pot, pinch pot, cheese, cheese, cheese. See you again soon. Bye.